All right. Uh, Ms. Sidhu, 71. So, uh, so as I said, I'll speak on uh, them together. It will amend the Non-Smokers Health Act to include outdoor workspaces on federal properties. This will include restriction on smoking outside federal building, in national park, and on federal lands. These amendments would get at the public health intent of the bill. And um, this amendment will help to achieve the public health intent C45 by allowing the Minister of Labor and Minister of Transport to regulate cannabis smoke in all federal workplaces, both indoor and outdoor. Uh is that 17-1 and 17-2? Yes. Or are you just on 17-1? 17-1. Okay, 17-1. Okay. Mr. Davies. I'm just wondering if, if Ms. Sidhu can expand a bit on this. Um, you mentioned national parks. Uh, is the intent of this to prohibit first, the possession or smoking of cannabis in public par in national parks? Property. Um, this is also uh, this proposed amendment would provide flexibility to restrict smoking or vaping of tobacco and cannabis is designated outdoor spaces in federally regulated workplaces. Mr. Chairman, if, if I could just pursue that. Yeah, I'm still not quite clear. So uh, I, a, a national park would be a federally regulated workplace. I mean, there's federal employees that work there. Uh, I'm just thinking. I'm asking her directly, is it the intent of her amendment to prohibit possession or smoking of cannabis in public parks, national parks, as being public, federally regulated workplaces? That's what I'm trying to answer. So just federally regulated uh, places, like uh, uh, before it's a regulated smoke or outdoor space is in something that has been previously dealt with at provincial and territorial level, as well as the municipal level but not yet in federal legislation. With this amendment, it will be regulating of, uh, from fed, uh, federal legislation. I'm wondering, Mr. Chair, if I can get a, an opinion from the uh, ministry staff, um, whether or not this would be broad enough that it would preclude cannabis possession or cannabis smoking in national parks completely. I mean, I'm thinking of the 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 language says workspace means any indoor or other enclosed space or any outdoor space or class of outdoor space designated in the regulations in which employees perform the duties of their employment and include a bunch of stuff and any outdoor space or class of outdoor space designated in the regulations that is frequented by employees during the course of their employment. Well, I would guess park rangers in the course of their employment frequent national park space. Uh, would that be broad enough, in your view, to preclude possession or smoking of cannabis in the entire national park? So I can answer this question, Mr. Chair. Um, and in fact, I was a, a park warden in, in Jasper National Park, so um, <laughs> so it was my workspace. Um, so I, I, I can clarify how how the amendment would work. Uh, there there are two parts. One is is as you read the uh, uh, change to the definition of workspace and. What it would allow is uh, for, and, and then part two is a regulation making power in, under the Non-Smokers Health Act to designate spaces uh, in outdoor areas that would be uh, included in the definition of workspace. So, the, so uh, that's how it would work. Um, and it, it applies to, to the, the consumption, the, the, the smoking or vaping of cannabis or tobacco, not its possession. So what uh, together the two motions do is it allows uh, uh, the Minister of Labor to make a recommendation to the Governor and Council to make a regulation designating certain outdoor spaces as being a workspace. And then those areas would, uh, that's where uh, the smoking or vaping of tobacco or cannabis would not be permitted. So it's not a blanket that any federal outdoor space is suddenly now you can't consume uh, tobacco or, or, or cannabis. It, it simply provides the ability to as the committee heard during uh, uh, witness testimony, it, it provides the ability for the minister to say, you know what, in, in this area, uh, outdoor, uh, you know, um, the outdoor area outside of these buildings or, um, you know, in a parking lot of, uh, of uh, you know, um, the Athabasca Falls in, in Jasper National Park and, and so on to actually designate those spaces. Okay, Ms. Badu. 
chair uh, this one here uh, we did have a conversation on on the secondhand smoke uh, discussion and on uh, the uh, the uh, pot smokers being outside Confederation building, I think it was the other topic of discussion. And knowing that uh, smoke from marijuana is five times more toxic than from tobacco, I think there is uh, some, some merit to this, although uh, I do hate the whole bill, so just saying. Oh, what's that? Was that members outside the I know, there was, no, there was no definition of who might be loitering there, just a concern that the clouds might uh, uh, evolve. Okay, uh, Mr. Davies. I with great respect to Ms. Gladue, I don't know where the evidence came that marijuana smoke is five times more toxic than tobacco smoke, but I certainly have never heard that. And, and I would find that highly surprising considering the carcinogens and constituents of, of, of tobacco. But, um, but my follow-up question to Mr. Clare would be, what about campsites? I mean, park rangers have to supervise campsites. I mean, and that's their place of work. Do you see that these, this regulation could be would this give the power to the minister to, to, to designate campsites as being places where people could not um, consume or, or vape cannabis? Is that possible? So I, I think there are other considerations at play there. Um, and I, I'm, you know, I, I wouldn't want to speculate, but I know that a campsite uh, is, is a person's temporary dwelling, right? Like that's where, where, where they're staying. So I think there are a number of considerations mm -hmm. that would be at play there. And before any kind of regulation that would be made in those areas, all of those things would be given due consideration. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to go to a vote now on 17-1. All in favor of Amendment 17-1, all opposed. Amendment 17-1 is passed. We go down to 17-2, Ms. Sidhu. Uh, it's a new clause. Yes. I'm yeah. sorry, not a new clause. Uh, this is a, uh, I spoke on both, uh, Mr. Chair. This is also uh, previously dealt with the provincial and territorial level. Now it's uh, coming under federal legislation. And I propose this uh, amendment would provide flexibility to prohibit the smoking and vaping of tobacco on cannabis is a specific outdoor areas or spaces by reg regulation, regulation in federal workplaces to protect people from exposure to tobacco or cannabis smoke. Two down here. Okay, we have a little technical issue here. Um, the uh, legislative clerk has told me that has informed me that, that uh, 172 is between 163 and 164, so we have to go back to 162. And uh, I, uh, I'm seeking uh, a vote on uh, clause 162. Shall one clause 162 carry as amended with 17-1? All in favor? Point of order, Mr. Didn't yeah. we just vote on that? We didn't vote oh. on the clause. No, we, okay. just vo we just voted on the on adding the. 17.1, but we didn't vote on Clause 162. All right, now we go to Clause 163. Now, where does 17? Sorry, did we not? Ju we didn't have the vote. Oh, we didn't. I'm so All in favor of 162? All opposed? Okay, Clause 162 carries. Thank you very much for your patience. Now, uh, 163. Are, are we going to? Okay, we're now on Clause 163. 162 again. We had just approved 162 amended, so I don't want to think that we just approved 162 unamended. So no, we, yeah, that right. last I, vote I don't think was valid. I think you meant 163. Uh, I don't. And we had to. We I did 162 as amended. Correct. But I haven't done 163 yet. Okay. I wouldn't want you to think I'm not confused because I am. <laughs> <laughs> So, so uh, where where does where does 72 come in? After 163. All right, we're going to do 163 next. Then we do 172. All right. Uh, I see no amendments to 163. So, shall clause 163 carry? All in favor? All opposed? 163 is carried. Now we have new clause, liberal 172. Miss Sidhu. I think. I, I uh, talk about both, uh, Mr. Chair, and uh, this is the same class I put the new one. 
Um, is there any debate or discussion on 17.2? Mr. Davies. I, I'm sorry, I'm just not quite clear. Is this just a companion amendment that follows? Uh, perhaps Mr. Clare can, or I don't want to put you on the spot, Mr. Clare, but someone from the ministry can explain what the purpose of amending 163.1 is. Why is this necessary? So I'm happy to explain. This is the companion to the motion that just passed. It provides the regulation making power to designate the outdoor spaces. Seeing more, no, no more uh, discussion. I call on uh, a call for a vote on 17-2. Uh, new clause. All those in favor of adopting 17-2. All those opposed. All right. 17-2 is adopted. Now, okay. Uh, actually, it is uh, it is almost. We got one more. We have time for one more clause, I think. So 160. We've done 164, and there's no amendments. So shall what? Did we vote on 163.1? Amended. Amended? Or we just did vote on the amendment? I'm, I'm it's mixed up. Clause. It's a new clause. It's not an amendment. Oh, it's a completely new 17 clause. 17.1 1 and 17.2 are new clauses, and they're in different places. And, uh, okay. Thank you. Good. Okay, so uh, shall clause 164 carry? And this will be the last one. 164, all in favor? All opposed? All right, we'll, we'll knock off there, and we'll go and all listen to Ms. Sidhu's SO31. And we'll start up again at 3.30. Meeting suspended.